Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday again. I feel like the weeks are going really fast. Like all of a sudden, I'm like, it's ha happy Monday, happy Sunday, it's Tuesday. <laughs> I just feel like it's going so fast all of a sudden. But here we are. It's a Sunday again. I always end up vlogging on these days. I vlog random days. I don't have like a set schedule when I film. I try to upload every other day, which I've been doing good at. But um, filming, I just film whenever. But I always end up filming on Sundays. So that's pretty nice, right, Bench? For the last, I feel like four in a row, it's been like a rainy rainy Sunday, which is good because it's kind of fitting for like a Sunday bum day, you know? So it's rainy and cold today. I went to my Zumba class this morning. I stopped at Aldi and grabbed a few things for dinner tonight. You guys can see there's a mess on our island, so we'll get to that in a minute. Benji, what do you want? Oh, I just did a quick little makeup. I just threw on my new sweater from Boohoo and just some leggings. Very comfy cozy. I'm excited for today. We've got a recipe, which I haven't done in a while. I've been testing my own, but I don't want to show you all of them, obviously, on the vlog. I want the cookbook, if and when it does come out, uh, to be like, you know, at least some new stuff that you've never seen before. So I feel like I've been doing cooking off camera. Hi. It's been really fun though, I will say. I'm trying to perfect a cookie recipe. So last night I made a batch of those and Zane and I were doing taste tests and writing down notes about it and stuff. It's a lot of fun. So anyways, Benji wants to hang out with us this morning. So I hope you guys don't mind. I washed my hair last night and I did it with the Dyson Airwrap with like the straightening brush and then I slept on it and I feel like it looks pretty good. It looks like a little bit volumized, but still like, I don't know what I'm going for. Do I even know what I'm talking about, Benji? You're getting your wet little nose all over me. <laughs> all right, so today's gonna be a fun Sunday vlog. I just wanna hang out and chill with you guys. We have a few things on the agenda. First things first, we're gonna do a glasses unboxing. So today's video is actually sponsored by Warby Parker. And basically what they do is they can send you a free try-on kit for home. And so completely free, they shipped it for free. I got five pairs of glasses. There's no obligation to buy. I can send that, send back the box. They give you a return shipping label. I'm not gonna show you because my address is on it, but you just put the label back on and ship it back. And then if you wanna buy, you go online and you buy them. So I went ahead on their app. They have an iPhone app. Benji, you are ruining this. I actually went on their app. They have a really easy to use app on the iPhone and they also have a virtual try on so you can hold the phone up to your face and see what they'll look like, which is really cool. So you don't just order like five random glasses and hope that one's good. You can at least see what they would kind of look like on your face. So I've got my little mirror here and I have my five glasses and we're gonna do a little try on and see which ones I wanna order. I just got a new eye exam, so I'll put my RX online and I can just order a pair of glasses. So thank you so much to Warby Parker for partnering with me. It was time for some new glasses, so I'm really excited. They really are a great company. Everything is high quality and they're committed to providing amazing vision care both online and in stores. And they don't only have eyeglasses, they also have sunglasses, they have contact lenses and eye exams. The glasses start at about $95, including the prescription lenses, so you're getting really high quality for a good price. And they have sunglasses, progressives, and blue light glasses also. So here we go, we're gonna try on these five glasses glasses you can take a quick little quiz online and they'll suggest some glasses that'll fit your face and style then you pick your five you get them in the mail you keep them for five days and then you put the prepaid label on ship them back no obligation to buy it's really that simple i'm sorry but we just need to you know get this in the shop because it's so cute you can't even see him can you see him because i can't in the camera lens like in the viewfinder you're camouflaging with my shirt where are you i cannot even see you can you guys tell there's a black cat on my lap? That's so funny. Okay, here we go. I think it's so cool that they do this because you get to actually try the glasses on. You can like ask friends and family what they think, take pictures and all of them and like really make sure you get a style that you want and you can like actually put them on your face. You don't have to go to the store, especially right now. It's nice that you don't have to leave your home. So here we go. I'm gonna have all the styles that I try on linked down below. These are the Eugene T Rose Fade. So they've got the like, um, tortoise kind of look on top with the clear on the bottom. Let's see what these look like. Cute! These are kind of like the clear ones that I have now, but elevated. What do you think, Benj? Do you like these? Look at me. You like these ones? Thanks. <laughs> Okay, that's contender number one. I tried to get a few different styles because I wanted to like get something different and fun. I thought these were so cool, but let's see how they look on my face. The Robbie Gold. So they're like simple, thin metal gold frame. I just thought these were so pretty. They're such nice quality. Ah! Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, I like these a lot. Do these look good? Be honest. I dig these. These are, these are, these are my style, especially with gold earrings. They like match so well. <gasps> okay. 
these for sure over the first ones, I think. And these obviously come with no prescription in them and then you go ahead online and order them. These are just to see what they look like on your face. This next one is just like an upgrade from the frame that I have now, just simple, clear. These are a little bit bigger probably than the ones that I already have, but still, I love those gold frame ones, so those are still the winners. I just love glasses. I don't know if I could ever be the girl to put contacts in my eye. The thought of it just freaks me out. Tell me I'm not the only one that the thought of touching their eye, I just don't think I would be able to do it. Like I'd get here and then I would like freak out probably. Though it would be helpful for the gym, I don't mind wearing my glasses. I'm just a glasses girl. And I feel like they look cute too. Okay, next one are the Simon Gold. These have the tortoise um, print as well, but it's just on the side. And then the front of them is again, just a simple gold frame. These are more round than the other ones I think I like the other shape better for my face because my face is already pretty like rounded so <laughs> I just look like an egg with two eggs you know these are actually kind of cute I feel like the first ones sit on my face a little bit better and then lastly I thought let me try just like a simple black frame these are the Brady black matte eclipse see what these look like oh cute they've got like a little brown black and white stripe on the on like the sides of it that's cute. I used to wear black glasses like this, but let's see. These are nice. These are like sophisticated and different. How about all of them? <laughs> you know what I like about these? They don't have the little things in the middle, so I can put them on my head if I want to without them getting stuck in my hair. Okay, so it's definitely between these three. I think I like all three of these. I gotta figure out if I want a little more like rounded versus this one kind of goes a little bit squared off at the bottom. I'm gonna take a picture in all of them and then I'll decide. Okay, well now I have to make my decision and then ship this back and go ahead online and just pick the ones that I want and put my RX in. Also, if you do wear contact lenses, they do have them. They're affordable they're breathable comfortable and a 90 day pack is only $55 try Warby Parker's free home try on program order five pairs of glasses for free keep them for five days no obligation to buy and again like I said before ships free includes a prepaid shipping label to send it back so definitely go try it out I'm so excited to order mine and thank you again to Warby Parker for sponsoring this video okay I'm gonna make myself a little bit of lunch I'm hungry yesterday I made some cauliflower rice and I have some shredded chicken, so I think I'm gonna make like a little bowl of it. I did like TikTok feta pasta, but instead of in the oven, I did it on a skillet. And instead of pasta, I did cauliflower rice. So it's kind of like a risotto. I bet it's gonna be even better today. Like once things sit, you know, they become like even more flavorful and delicious. Here's what I'm wearing, by the way. Nothing really that special, but I'm comfy. I'm wearing Fabletics and they're like super thick and warm because it is cold today. You guys already know my shredded chicken prep that we do. I'm just gonna throw some of that with the cauliflower rice because I didn't do any meat in it because I had a lot of meat for like breakfast and lunch. So for dinner, I was like, I don't really need to put meat in it. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this and relax, probably watch a YouTube video. And then we're gonna prep uh, dinner. We are doing a crock pot as per one of your requests and I'm excited about it, but it needs some prep before it goes into the crock pot. So I'm gonna show you guys that in just a little bit. And then today, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are organizing the pantry and the fridge, baby. It needs to happen so bad. I am nervous to show you guys what it looks like right now. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Benji? You want me to leave you alone? Yeah? So yesterday was a really gorgeous day outside. And I was sitting outside working on my laptop. I have a little laptop hood that I bought. I'll show you guys on the next sunny day, but he loved being outside. I was just standing right outside the door holding him in my arms and he was just like, eyes were closed, wind blowing through his fur. He was loving it. And now I think since yesterday, he just wants to go outside, which is not a good thing because now we have to be really careful. He might dart out the door. Not that he can get really far. I don't think he would, but maybe, who knows? But now he just wants to be an outdoor cat. And you're not. You're just not an outdoor cat, Bench. We're gonna have to get you a harness that fits you because the one we have is too small. I think he'll go on a harness now. I think when he was younger, he was too scared, but I think now he would love the harness. But I wouldn't take him out from our backyard. I would only leave him in the backyard and that's it. What? Your eyes are so yellow. What are you doing? Did you want to go outside? But you can't. You're an indoor cat. Sorry, Benj, but that's just not the life for you. Mommy doesn't want you to run away or escape. That would be so sad. Oh, okay. You're enjoying that. I love you. Whatever. You sound so... That's such a disappointed meow. 
He desperately needed a good brushing, and I think I can make a little cat wig with it. But he doesn't mind being brushed, but he wants to like eat his hair out of the brush. Anybody else's cat? Look, like he he wants to eat his own hair. Like what? Why? What? No! Put your little put your little paw down. That's so weird. All right, stopped at Aldi after the gym, so I figured I'd just show you the few little things that I got. These got me on the way out. I love my gum, but also I was like, for the gym, a mint would be nice because hello, focus right here. Thank you. A mint would be nice because I don't want to have to chew gum the whole time that I'm working out. But if I want a little, you know, breath refresh under the mask, these will be good. I just ran out of honey barbecue sauce. Sweet baby rays, the best. These little hundred calorie yogurt pretzels, so good. I need chili powder for the recipe we're about to make, and I don't know if we're about to run out. So just in case. Some salt, of course. I love this sauce. Highly recommend if you have an Aldi near you. And then I got some ghee for tonight's recipe. It says you can use um, unsalted butter as well, but I was like, you know what? Let me get what the recipe calls for. And then brown sugar, because I ran out yesterday. Well, we're almost out. And that's that. And I got some chicken as well. Tonight we are making some Indian chicken and peas. I am so excited. Probably gonna serve it with just some rice. That sounds good. I got some fresh cilantro the other day, some jalapenos, and I'll show you as we go along. We're gonna need a few other things as well to Skinny Taste recipe. I feel like I haven't cooked from a cookbook in so long. Get out my little stand. This cookbook stand is from Amazon. I love it. It just like unfolds, so I have it like sit with all my cookbooks, and then it opens up, and then these little things go up, and you just put your cookbook in it, and it's so cute. So, here is the goal. Pretty simple, but it just sounds good, something different. I feel like I haven't made like a good home-cooked meal like this in a while, so I'm excited. All right, I just got everything out. Here's what you're gonna need. Cinnamon, garam masala, turmeric, chili powder, cilantro, or coriander, whatever, ground cumin, bay leaves, salt, some tomato sauce, onion, ginger, garlic, some cilantro, ground chicken, jalapenos, and also some frozen peas, but those aren't gonna come out until later when it's almost done in the crock pot. So here we go. Usually crock pot things, I like to just throw things in there and it's like an easy dinner. This requires a little work before, but I'm sure it'll be delicious, so let's try it out. I just wipe down and clean the counters. Everything's nice and clean. The sink is empty. It's a beautiful feeling. Oh, also I forgot about the ghee, or you can just use unsalted butter. I've never cooked with ghee before, so I'm excited. All right, large skillet on medium. We're gonna prep the fresh stuff, cut it all up. Don't mind my blinds, they're, <laughs> you know, whatever. I don't care. No. I know, do you care? It's your fault. No. I know. By the way, this recipe's in the Fast and Slow cookbook. I have it on my Amazon store. If you guys wanna check it out in the kitchen section. All right, we want this onion finely chopped. All right, one medium onion, finely chopped. Now our pan is starting to heat up. We're gonna go in with our ghee, two teaspoons of it. On the ingredients, it says cow's milk fat, which sounds nasty, but isn't that what butter is, right? Somebody educate me on what ghee is compared to butter. It smells like butter. Okay, well, clarified butter. Oh, so it has no lactose, oh, gluten, sodium, casein, which is like a protein, right? Interesting. I bet you this would be good for Zane because he's like allergic to a lot of things. Like cow, like he can't have like whey protein. So maybe, I don't know, I don't know, but it's cow's fat. What am I saying? I don't know. Oh, teaspoon, okay. Clearly I can't talk and do things at the same time. All right, two teaspoons of this. I'm putting my skillet a little bit below medium because it's kind of just strong. What was that? It's definitely a different texture than butter. It reminds me of like mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh, it's melting really nicely. Hmm, okay, cool. I'm excited to learn more about you, Gee. Anyways. Oh, you know what's interesting too? Um, it wasn't in the refrigerated section. I wonder if you have to refrigerate after opening. No refrigeration needed. Oh, high smoke point. Use the same way as traditional butter. May liquefy at room temperature. No refrigeration needed. Interesting. Okay, so I can keep this in the pantry. Not, it doesn't have to go in the fridge. Cool. It melted down really quickly. You guys are probably all laughing because you've used it before, but here we are. Gonna try things for the first time. All right, onions going in for six to eight minutes. Okay, now while that's going, we're gonna prep three cloves of garlic and a teaspoon of fresh ginger. All right, here we go, got the garlic. I started to mince the ginger and then I realized it said grated, so I'm just gonna use that for the rice later, but we've got some grated ginger, about a teaspoon. Now in here, we're gonna add the garlic and the 
ginger. Now that the onions are golden, we're gonna add this in for about 30 seconds. Just kidding, two minutes. <laughs> Grated ginger, oops. Wow, that already smells amazing between the ginger and the garlic, it's so strong. Okay, now we're adding in the one pound of ground chicken. Nice pinch of salt. Everything is all prepped and we are now transferring to the slow cooker, putting in the chicken that we just made. Now we're adding our three quarters of a cup of tomato sauce. I'm just using a little eight ounce can. Quarter cup of water. We have two tablespoons of fresh cilantro and one jalapeno diced up. And now it's time for all of the seasonings. All the seasonings are three quarters of a teaspoon. So we've got the cilantro, three quarters of a teaspoon of cumin. I did have chili powder actually, but that's fine. Now we have more chili powder. Next up is the turmeric, the garam masala, cinnamon, and a bay leaf. And now we're gonna stir it all together. Here is what it looks like. It's not super liquidy. It's gonna smell so good in here once this starts cooking up. Ooh. Oh, I just broke the bay leaf. Oopsies. Okay, I'm gonna put this on high for three and a half hours probably. It says three to four on high, six to eight to on low. And we're gonna wanna eat fairly early today probably. Zane is out playing tennis. He's gonna be hungry. So three and a half hours. The chicken's already cooked anyway, so that's good. And then in the last 30 minutes of cooking, we add in uh, three quarters of a cup of frozen peas and then two more tablespoons of cilantro. I have that right here. I use little soy sauce dishes. <laughs> and then the extra ginger I'll probably use this to make rice when we're ready to eat later and that's that clean as you go queen Just cleaned all the dishes. It already smells amazing in here. I have to clean this up and put that stuff away But anyways, um, okay, we're, we're heading into the pantry. Let's just do it. Let's rip off the band-aid. I'm really oh, I don't know so bad you know what's really bad the bottom shelf so this bottom shelf has been bad it's just been a catch-all it's got ramen in the back it also has cereals like random things like that and then Zane and I went on Amazon because we kept running out of these because we both eat them so much the fiber one bars if you've never tried highly recommend so we ordered bulk packs on Amazon of the brownie and the cinnamon one the birthday cake one is really good too but now we just have a plethora <laughs> of these fiber one bars there's just so many any boxes in here that's not even all of them and there they go so these need a designated bin you know like they need their own sunshine right here sunshine does that make sense they need their own spotlight they need their own moment right here we have a bin of like snack bars protein bars pistachios things like that but they just don't belong in there like they need their own spot you know so that needs to happen we just need a revamp and i feel like this happens every few months you know just needs a revamp up here is not too bad but there is like flour spilt because this is where we keep all the flour and sugar and stuff so that can be wiped down and slightly organized i got stuff for my air garden for christmas and completely forgot to set it up zane got it for me and now it's gonna be summertime we're gonna have stuff outside and i remember when i had it in here and outside it was like too much i was like going to waste so i think i'm gonna wait until after the summer and we'll set up the arrow garden again i killed it last time don't ask me how i did that i just didn't take care of it right that's how so i'm going to clear off this island move it all to the kitchen table <laughs> This has random stuff in it. This needs to be organized. This is going into my car. These are extra seasonings. This ghee is gonna go in the pantry. Extra sauces. Also a problem is up by the sugar and stuff. We also keep like backstock, which I feel like we don't have many canned things. So maybe that stuff should go here, like extra sauces and mayos and such, instead of having it buried back in there and keep the top shelf strictly for baking goods. So for right now, I'm gonna work one shelf at a time. I'm gonna put that stuff right there for now. I'm gonna empty out the bottom shelf all onto the island and then we'll organize it then. I feel like you guys are a mile away from me though. There you are. Okay. I'm gonna wipe this down. I'm also gonna see too because maybe when I go through it, I'll feel like I'll need maybe some new organizing bins would be nice. I just don't know what I need yet, so we'll see. Okay, I wanted to show you guys the progress that I've made. This little bin right here in the middle, I have like the snack packs in. I started doing the middle shelf a little bit too because it kind of like correlated. Um, all this bin is like chips and then like 
bigger bags of chips that don't fit in there. Some Oreos, some chocolates. I'm not done with that yet, but I am keeping the ramen back there. I just wiped down the shelf. I got this bin for all of our Fiber One bars. There's so many. So this is gonna have its own little moment down here. And then I'm thinking down there, I'm gonna try to organize all this. I'm gonna keep like the breakfast goods. Like we usually have like syrups and almond butters, granola, things like that, oatmeal and whatnot. So I'm gonna keep that all down there and try to keep the snacks up here. Let's see if I can do it. I know you don't when I get hurt But you'll have to take my word That I will love you Love you right back Okay, okay, you guys. Well, first of all, dinner smells so good. I can't wait. <laughs> Here's what I ended up with. It always looks like a hot mess, and then it gets just worse and worse until I make it look like less of a hot mess again. It's an organized mess, okay? I know, I need to get, like, bin, better bins and stuff. This needs to change. This really took up a lot of space, but it's just practical because we eat these all the time. And then we've got some almond butters and syrups and whatnot. Um... What is this called? Oatmeal. This is like our chocolate bin. Some more protein bars. We have a ton of those. We eat them a lot. I put the little um, kisses in here because the packaging was just bigger. So I got little containers and I put them in there. And then back there is stuff we don't really eat that often or just easily grabbable. There's like some extra peanut butters and extra popcorn, ramen, these noodles that we love. And then there's some like oats, a thing of cereal back there, ice cream cones. Like we know what's back there and we just don't use it every day. So that's fine. Much better than before. And then up here is pretty similar. Again, we've just got more protein bars and snacks. These are like chips and then more chips back there. This is some popcorn, donuts left over from the other night. And then these are like little snack packs, like 100 calorie bags or whatever. And that's that. I'm surprised that I fit everything. The only thing is we used to keep these cups down there for when we have like gatherings and I don't really know where I want to put these yet so we'll figure that out. Up here seems a little bit messy but it's fine. I know what's in here is just like all pastas, breadcrumbs and rice and bread. Just pretty simple so that's it. And now we're gonna organize this a little bit. I think it'll just be practical to keep extra sauces in here so I think I'm gonna line up probably on this side extra things like that and then keep all the baking goods up there so I'm gonna do that now. Probably not a horrible fix. It should be easy. Okay, I'm actually so happy with the way that this turned out. So up on that top shelf, I'm gonna get up there on the stool and show you. I had this uh, basket and it kind of was just like hiding things that we don't use that often, but I'm like, honestly, we don't even need that. I'd rather just have it like laid out like a store. <laughs> So that's what I did on these two shelves. I made it look like a store. So if you go from up here, you can see that I did kind of like, it's a little messy, but there's like rows of things. So basically this right here is flour. So we've got all purpose flour, almond flour, cake flour, whole wheat flour, and then there's corn flour in the back. So it kind of goes in order of like how much we use things. And then this store right here is like, kind of random things that needed their own row, this kind of section. So there's vanilla extract, baking powder, some yeast, baking soda. I have two more containers, I didn't even know. Some coconut oil. There is confectioner's sugar, I believe that is. Yeah, and then corn syrup in the back. Here is cocoa powder, corn meal, corn starch. <laughs> I never know how to say this. Baby, how do you say the thing with the X? X than gum? I have no idea. Oh, I don't know how to. Xanthan gum. Though. Xanthan, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Xanthan gum, fashion show? Yeah, shorts and shirt. Oh, nice. Nice, right? Oh, it's like Phantom Ooh. of the Opera, your shirt. What? Phantom of the Opera with the mask. Oh. I what know you, what you said. Something you said, like you said Phantom Opera. Oh, yeah. Phantom of the Opera with the two masks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Ooh, right? Yeah, it looks The shorts cool. are really nice, actually. They're, like, good quality. Yeah, they look like they fit you good. Feel this them. is funny from this angle. Really? Fashion Nova? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like They're, them. like, the essential, like, sweatshorts or Yeah. Do they have more colors? Uh, I think so. Nice. You could stock up. I got a lot more shorts, too. I'm ready. And then this last row here is just some sugar. So regular sugar, brown sugar. This is just a sugar cookie mix. That's why it's kind of like random right here. More backup sugar. And then the no calorie sweetener back there. I don't know if I said that already. So that's our baking area. Now everything is laid out and we can see everything. I love it. And then down here, I did the same thing. So you can really tell from this angle. We've got all of our extra sauces. I didn't even know we had all this, to be honest. There's extra mayo, extra ranch, lemon juice, honey barbecue sauce. I should probably put that in the fridge because I think I'm out of it, actually. There's some Frank's Red Hot. We just keep the regular one in here because it doesn't need to be refrigerated. 
I just put the ghee in here and then we've got some general taos, teriyaki, soy sauce, all the extras. It feels like a store. I love it. Capers. I'm giving you a whole pantry tour. Sun-dried tomatoes, bell peppers, and then some extra pasta sauces and beef broth. And then these are all of our cans, lots of random stuff. And then in this basket, I did sauces that are like for like a meal. Whereas these are like, you know, condiments. But this is like a tikka masala sauce that I would use the whole jar. Enchilada sauces, I would use the whole thing. And then a thing of soup and like a little lentil meal. So those are like meals in their own little basket area. And I shoved the arrow garden back there for now. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, cool. Now we have an extra basket too from up there. Actually, here we go. Let me show you a little overview. So now we're looking pretty good. Making the most of it. Okay. Wow, the dinner smells so good. Oh. Actually, maybe I can get rid of this like crappy cardboard box and use this. It just takes up more space, but I think I might be able to make it work. Let's see. I got these bins from Five Below so long ago. Like I think when I lived with my parents, but when I use them in here, I like to take out the little middle thing. I keep it for if I want to use it again, but then you can like see through it and then it's just a simple wire basket, you know? We've got chips, little cookies. Oh. So much better. Yeah, I think this can fit. Yay, that's nice. Okay, definitely better than this box. <laughs> nice, five for one, oatmeal, snacky snacks. So look at all the snacks. Okay, it is now time to do the fridge. I don't think this is gonna take me very long either, but it has gotten a little bit out of control. And we do have a lot of stuff right now, so I'll see what I can do. A goal of mine is to definitely use this drink holder because it always just becomes a catch-all. So I want to try and do that and just tidy her up. So let's go. Okay, okay, I just took literally everything out, did a quick little wipe down. I'm gonna organize this after. It's pretty okay, actually, this just, this needs to be organized, but I'm more worried about this stuff. So I took literally everything out and I'm gonna slowly add it back in to where I see fit. I got rid of a few things, so that's good. And yeah, to be honest, that's really it. <laughs> We usually do drinks and things like that up top, almond milks and stuff. Then down here I do like salads and um, sour creams and things like that, pickles and eggs, avocados, and then on the last shelf at the bottom, this one's kind of like random, and then the last one on the bottom I do meat and veggies, um, but it just becomes a disaster after a while, so we'll see how this goes. So my tactic is gonna be like the definites, like stuff that I know I definitely want somewhere. Like, we've got almond milk. I know that's gonna go on this top shelf. Cranberry juice. That can go in the back because we use that for like alcohol drinks. Some Coke. This little drink thing I wanna use. <laughs> Zane has some Cokes up here. I don't think there's very many left, but I'm gonna, oh yeah, there's only three in here. My next definites are the veggies down in here. Got some baby carrots, mini peppers, some jalapenos, some Roma tomatoes, one that's already been sliced open. And then I'm also gonna keep my onion saver when I have like half an onion, so I know exactly where it is. And then these are just some red onion slices. Sometimes I like to prep these so that I can put them on stuff throughout the week easily. So I'll put those in there as well. Actually, this can go right on top. Save some space, perfect. Next up, I have some salad fix-ins, some cabbage coleslaw mix spinach, romaine, and arugula. I'm gonna fit it in here. That's what's nice about getting the bags of them versus like those big plastic containers because you can fit them like in smaller spaces. That looks awesome. Okay, the next easy one is cheese. We put it in this little drawer right here. And we don't really have that much, which is nice because this is usually overflowing and you can't even tell what we have. But we got sliced provolone, some shredded Mexican, shredded cheddar, and then another shredded fat-free cheddar. And then we've got just some slices of cheese and a block of Neuchâtel. Pretty simple, is that everything that was in there? 
I also have a few little miscellaneous baby bells, so I'm gonna put them in here as well. Next, I have our eggs and avocados. I just like when they are right here because I know exactly where they are. So those are gonna go there. All right, we're doing well so far. Down at the bottom here is gonna be our meat. So we've got some shaved beef steak, turkey, a little sirloin, and then also some bacon. And then also we just have some shredded chicken meal prepped. That's gonna go right next to this. Okay, next this is bin. It's kind of random, but it just like makes sense and works for me. We've got some cottage cheese, some fresh shredded parm. Hello, I just ruined everything. Some light sour cream, feta cheese, some laughing cows, and then some little single serve guacamoles right here. Just a random bin, but it helps keep everything kind of in one place. And that goes right underneath the cheese because it's kind of like a little cheese dairy category, I guess. Here's the next little bin. I thought this one was kind of cute. So it's got like the deli sandwich meat in it. So we've got like some chicken and then some pepperoni right here. And then I decided to put the pickles right here because they always sit in a random spot on the shelf, but it'd be cute to put it with like the sandwich stuff. And then some little dips. So we've got some spinach and artichoke dip and some buffalo dip. And it's all in this little bin. It's a little snacky lunch bin. I love it. So that's gonna go right here next to the eggs and the avocados. This little thing is kind of random. Random. I'm not sure where I really want to put it just yet, but for Christmas I got Zane a subscription service to like um, It's kind of like HelloFresh, but for drinks So they send all the ingredients and the recipe for really cool like unique drinks that you usually wouldn't like have these random syrups and things for and they send like probably I, I never made them Zane made them But I think they send more than you actually need for the drinks And so we ended up with a lot of leftover like syrups and like additives like what is this like raspberry syrup? Tamarindo syrup blueberry syrup matcha syrup like there's just and then they have like these little thing like orange bitters So it's really cool stuff if he ever wants to make a cool drink again So I don't want to get rid of it all he has all like the recipe cards right here So now we have it all in this little bin so if he ever wants like a cool recipe for a drink we have all these little things like little dried fruit so we're gonna keep this in the fridge for now we'll see if we touch it but probably during the summer you know I put it up in the top behind the coke for now all right I don't know if you guys can see from there so here's what I ended up doing with the top shelf so Zane ended up telling me that the coke that was down here was flat so I put the coke down here and then up here I know they don't fit but I put a few we have like white claws and some drinks like that so I just put them resting on top for now got the almond milk a random Powerade and then the drink thing back there that way this side we can use for other things because I like to have the egg whites up here and usually they get mixed in with the drinks which is weird so now they'll have like their own section over here we're almost done and dinner's almost done so that's good okay I'm doing Doing this a little random but we've got some apples and lemons because these are always just like random in the fridge like on their own so now I have a little thing this used to be in the cheese drawer but it really wasn't serving a purpose so now we have a purpose to contain these items beautiful next up we've got some yogurts I'm gonna put these right here for now I feel like we're nearing the part where this all could be subject to change so we'll see we've also got some applesauce I'm gonna put that no I'm not it's gonna go up here <laughs> Applesauce behind the apples, that makes sense. So a big thing that was taking up a lot of space in our fridge was this big bowl of shredded mozz, but we're kind of nearing the end of it. So I'm gonna put it in a small little Ziploc. That way also we have this bowl that we can use because it's annoying when it's in the fridge and I need to like use it for something else. But also there's not enough in here to be taking up this much room in the fridge. So it's gonna go in this little Ziploc and I'll put it in the cheese drawer. Much better, sealed nice and tight. Going in here. And I think we'll be more likely to use it because we'll see it in the cheese drawer rather than just hiding in the metal bowl, you know? Yeah, yeah. Down here is going to be kind of random because sometimes we have like leftovers. So that's going to go here. We have a bunch of corn tortillas that are going to go here as well. All right, and then a few more miscellaneous items, some cookies, some sauce. And that doesn't fit there. <laughs> That's gonna go up here. I also put the cilantro that I have in a little mason jar with some water. It'll keep it fresh in the fridge. So that's gonna go right here on the top shelf. Oh, I love it. It looks so good. And then I have the little ginger and the cilantro that I'm about to use for dinner, but I'm just gonna stick it in the fridge for right now. Oh my god, you guys. I think this is the best I've ever seen my fridge, to be honest. Like, we don't have like an overwhelming amount of stuff, so it looks like good because it's not like overstuffed and I can fit everything. It looks really nice. I like it. I like the little greenery here too. It looks like a little decoration for the fridge. <laughs> for the most part, everything over here I'm just gonna leave. It's just really all of our condiments and like kind of um, like baking stuff. Like there's some chocolate syrup and chocolate chips. This is really the bin that just needs a little bit of organizing. So I'm just gonna organize it up really quick and put it back. But other than that, 
it's done. So I'm gonna do that quick and we have 13 minutes till we put in the peas and I'm gonna make the rice. So perfect timing, we'll tidy up and we'll be ready for dinner. Okay, I'm super happy with this too. So I decided to put all of our hot sauces here because some were like up by the seasonings and some were in here and it was just a mess and I don't even eat hot sauce so I feel like Zane would eat them if they're like right in front of his face rather than hidden. So they're all right here. I also decided to put the sriracha because we use this a lot and it'll just be easier to grab right here and I looked it up and you can keep it in the fridge. So it's perfect. We've got the bouillon, some basil paste and then I put all of our little packets from Chinese takeout. We got some duck sauce and some soy sauce and and then these are like random little packets, some leftovers from HelloFresh and whatnot. We had some sour cream packets from HelloFresh too, and I just put them right here because I figured again, if they're right in front of my face where I usually get sour cream, then I'll use them. That's that on the fridge. I just wiped down the counter, looks sparkling clean. Now we're gonna get our frozen peas. Dinner has 30 minutes left, so we're gonna put three quarters of a cup of peas in there. Let's see how we're doing. Ooh, it smells so good. Put in our peas. Plus a little bit of ice. It smells like it's sticking to the bottom. Oh no, it's fine. Okay. Mix in our peas. It's sticking to the sides. Not terrible though, just a little bit. Okay, it's almost done anyway, so that's good. Now we're gonna make some rice. I've got my ginger and some can't believe it's not butter. I learned this from HelloFresh. I barely have any butter in here, so I'm just gonna scrape out what I can and get that melting in the pot. Okay, amazing. Wow, we're finishing things off today. It's so satisfying. I'm just using some regular white rice. Okay, now that our butter is melted and hot, we're gonna add in our ginger and we're gonna stir that around until it's like nice and fragrant. Now I'm gonna add in two cups of water and we're gonna bring it to a boil. Now I have instant rice, so since this is already boiling, all you have to do with this is put in your rice, you stir it and then you cover it and remove it from the heat for five minutes and that's it. So I'm going in with two cups of rice. We're definitely not gonna eat all this tonight, we're gonna have leftovers, but I wanted to have leftovers since we're gonna have um, a lot of meat from the crock pot. We're probably not gonna eat all of that either, so we'll have both leftover for like a lunch tomorrow or dinner tomorrow, whatever. I'm gonna turn off the heat, put on the cover, and move it off the heat for five minutes. Done. Then you just fluff it with a fork. <laughs> Bam, it's been five minutes and you've got beautiful ginger rice. Ginger adds so much flavor. I'm also gonna add some salt and a little bit of pepper. And it's already nice and buttery from cooking the ginger in the butter, so it's good. That rice is game changing. It's like so easy. And you don't have to wait 15 minutes. That's my favorite part, is it just takes five minutes. Okay, now that this is done, we're gonna take off the top, take out the bay leaf. I broke it in half, so we've got both halves. It definitely burnt a little bit on the edges, which is strange. Okay, then we're gonna add in the two tablespoons of cilantro and mix it up. I would definitely say if you have a big family, then double this recipe because it made a good amount, but not like too, too much. Like Zane and I could probably go through this whole thing, which is, I know, embarrassing because it's a whole pound of chicken, but it's honestly not that much. Time to plate up. Got a half a cup, I'm gonna do some rice. I also could have put some potatoes in here. That would have been good. We'll have it as is for now, and then if I really like the recipe and want to make it again, I can throw some potatoes in the crock pot too. And the serving size for this is half a cup, so I'm just gonna start with that. It's a good amount. Oh, it looks so pretty. Oh, I just licked my finger. It tasted good. Sorry guys, oops. We'll do a little cilantro on top for the aesthetic, you know? Plus I just have it in this cute little mason jar, so why not? Okay, here she is. I'm so excited. I've been smelling it all day. I like, want to eat it so bad. I didn't get Zane's reaction, but he just tasted it. He was like, oh, it tastes so authentic. He's like, my dad would be impressed if you made this for him. So that's a good sign. Mmm, so good. I could go for more peas though. I will say that because I already knew that. That's delicious. I would also say too, I don't know why maybe my crock pot was just a little too strong, but it got a little bit dried out. Like I feel like I should add more liquid next time. She also suggested in the book that you could also put this on like a bun for like an Indian sloppy joe, which would be good as well. Or some potatoes or naan would be amazing, but I just wanted to keep it simple with some rice, but okay, I'm gonna go enjoy. Oh, 
wow, you guys, the best feeling ever. And on top of all the organizing that I did today, oh, Benji, Benji doesn't turn the sink off when he's done. It's very rude. On top of all the organizing that I did today, I just feel so good. Can we just take one more moment to appreciate? It's so pretty. Zane and I have agreed that we're going to keep our grocery shopping in little spurts because I don't know if you guys remember. We used to literally go grocery shopping once a month, like stock up on a ton of stuff, freeze all the meat, separate it all, and just go insane. And I'm so over that phase. I love going random little grocery spurts, especially now that I go to the gym. There's like, I'm out of the house already, so there's like no excuse to not go once in a while and get a few little things instead of getting so much stuff. It's just so much nicer to keep the fridge this way and just have a few meat for the week and then we'll get more meat when we need more, you know, instead of like, oh my God, we used to stock up so much. And I'm sure a lot of you are at your screen right now being like, I knew she was gonna be over that real quick, but the freezer is extremely packed I didn't even try to organize it because honestly, it's just it's like trying like Tetris because we just have so much So we just need to get through the frozen stuff I feel like I tend to buy a lot of fresh and I feel like I should be eating that before I even dive into the frozen And then the frozen just piles up piles up because I only eat it once in a while because I feel like I should be Not wasting the fresh stuff. Does that make sense? Anyways, I'm gonna have my second serving of dinner because it was delicious. We honestly didn't have that many leftovers. I thought we were gonna have way more, so next time I could totally double it because that's a great meal to have for lunches, but literally just a little bit of rice and a tiny bit of chicken, so that's fine though. We have a lot of food to eat, but next time I'll double. Okay, well, I've been up on my feet literally all day between going to the gym and doing all of this all day, so I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my Sunday. The rest of my Sunday, meaning it's already 8.15, but I'm gonna get ready for bed, and I have to tidy up our bedroom. It's messy, and I did laundry yesterday, so I have to put those baskets away. I won't even show you guys in there. You guys have seen it a mess, so you already can imagine what it looks like. I also have this rack of stuff that I was drying to put away, too, so. I will say I'm very excited for this week. The weather is gonna be so so nice and I just feel like I'm getting like I feel like I lost my mojo a little bit um I don't know why I guess it just happens sometimes where like I didn't have a lot of cooking ideas and my vlogs were kind of like all over the place and I feel like I'm starting to get like ideas back and more of like my schedule back not that it was gone but I just have felt like messy headed and I feel like I have video ideas for this week. I'm so excited because now that the weather is about to start holding up and be nice I'm gonna get back here get the backyard all set up so we can use the fire out there and barbecue and i'm gonna go for walks more and the weather warming up is just so exciting mother's day is coming up i'm getting my second vaccine in a few weeks and so is zane so that means we can start safely traveling a little bit so i just feel like i'm, I'm trying to see the positive in things i've been having a lot of anxiety and negative thoughts so i feel like i don't know i'm starting to turn it around a little bit maybe something's in the air I don't know. Anyways, I'll stop talking your ear off. Thank you for hanging out with me today and organizing and cooking, my favorite things to do. Don't forget to check out Warby Parker down below. Get your free try-on kit. Literally, it's free. You don't have to pay anything. Free shipping back. Might as well try on some glasses, even if you don't even want to buy any. Just do it for fun. It's fun. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. I will love you, love you right back. And come and hold you in